Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to dive into the world of cybersecurity and explore online sandboxes, especially any.run. Uh, let's dive into any.run and how can we make use of it as a security analyst or a SOC analyst. If you're working as a SOC analyst, you can watch this video and learn a lot. So let's start. So I'm going to show you a basic phishing email that has been analyzed on any.run that uh, any dot run by another person so this is a public task i will also paste this link into the description of this video as well first of all any run gives you screenshots of the analysis so you know what was uh, opened or where uh, the what malware has opened or deleted or maybe it opens some command in somewhere you can see that so here we can see there is an email the project has been completed play please uh, place to order and return the insurance documents to our company uh, it seems to e an email from kato at kovac.co.jp japan to i hate at uh, i hate at rosneft.ru so russia in this email there is a uh, file as an attachment as you can see project.zip and it is 628 kilobytes in size so after that the user opens the file in here it saves it but it opens the file and after that it clicks the file after clicking this project.exe we can see that from our outlook exe there uh, there is another process occurred as winrar which is the winrar application here that opens the project.zip after the user clicks project.exe project.exe process runs after this process starts we can see two malicious processes run on the system first of all is this schedule task.exe it creates a schedule task with a random random name on the system to run at login time so if we go over to more info we can also uh, copy the whole command line but as we can see here schedule task exe create so create a folder named update and create a task named uh, this random name if we have if we had access to that computer in that configuration we can see what was the contents of this schedule task but uh, i know because i downloaded this malware to my to my uh, malware analysis workstation to uh, further investigate but let's go back to our process so this one is for persistency all right and this one reg services.exe it's actually linked to a malware family called agent tesla so anyone has a lot of uh, scripts and yara rules as you know to identify the malware family type or uh, future so you can call it this way if I go over to reg services.exe we can see that agent tesla has been detected so by a yara rule yet another ridiculous uh, acronym uh, there is a rule for agent tesla and it was detected so out of 100 it is scored as 100 which is very malicious okay it looks to be a .NET framework, Greg services that exe, but let's go down and see what this uh, file can do or process can do. So it gives us, hey, it connects to a CNC server. So in our analysis, me, we may go to our seam uh, and hey, what was the CNC server? Let me look up that IP address on that seam. Let me look up that IP address on the firewall logs or uh, whatever whatever log you have basically so steals credentials from web browsers meaning the malware takes credentials from google chrome firefox 
maybe crypto crypto wallets from those browsers and let's go down it steals uh, credentials for web, web browsers and let's go down okay here is the warning hey connect to smtp port why would a malware connect to an smtp port because the malware wants to send this data over smtp simple mail transfer protocol which means after the malware runs it takes away some credentials from the system but instead of uh, sending this data over uh, HTTPS traffic with uh, Telegram or other applications chooses to send this data over mail. Okay, let's go down if so it creates files and folders in the user directory and it reads a bunch of information here. Okay, so these are very common for normal programs as well. Here we have on the left bottom side HTTP requests, connections, DNS requests and threads. Uh, you have to buy the pro for threads, see the threads, but we can see the DNS requests made by this machine after execution. We can see that this mail.precise.co.in is actually a malicious reputation. It has a malicious reputation and it has responded. So the query was sent and then there was a response back to the computer. And the response came from the 2208 uh, two blah blah this IP address. And when we go over the connections, we can see that this reg services.exe made a connection to this IP address, which was the mail precise.co.in over port 587, which is also a malicious reputation. So let me click this CFG, which is config for this agent Tesla. So anyone automatically analyzes and creates some rules. And here we can see the configuration of this malware. So the malware is configured to use this SMTP protocol over port 587 to send an email with this username. And there's a password for it, as you can see. So he is logging to that mail server and then it sends an email. So let's see what was the content of that email. We can do it by two ways. We can either download the whole PCAP file from the Enron. It lets us to download. We can do that and uh, look, look up what, what's inside in this PCAP with Wireshark, or there is a better way, uh, I believe. So it lets you to weave the contents as text as well. Okay, let's uh, look at one by one. So here is the SMTP Exim email server. We can see the version of it as well. So here is the all, whole traffic between this mail precise that code in between this machine and this mail server. Okay, hello user PC. And there is a authentication login. There is some key, some maybe password. And then we can see that there's a authentication succeeded message from the mail server. I believe this was the configuration of the credentials that we have seen earlier. And then, as you can see, mail from Manjit Singh at precise.co.in. Received to blah, blah, there's another email address. We can see accepted and then data. If we go down, where was it? Okay, if we go down here, here is the email, smime version from uh, Manjit Singh at precise.co.in and to another email address, springandsummer.lk. This is the date of the e email. Here is the subject, PWA admin user PC. So it gets the uh, host name and the username of that PC. And if we go over to the body of the email, we can see there is the username, admin, computer name, user PC, OS full name, Microsoft Windows 7 Professional, and then the CPU, Intel Core i5-6400 CPU. 
So it sends the uh, basic hardware specifications of the uh, PC and then it sends HTTPS and Facebook.com username honey at pot.com and password. So it takes out the password for the Facebook and it also takes uh, another credentials for another website maybe. So these credentials are pre-configured on this virtual machine by any.run uh, architects so that if it these credentials are uh, copied or accessed by any means this Enron uh, guys will know that any gun process who attracts this uh, malware will know that hey this malware does uh, steal uh, data from the system so you can see all the details that uh, sent through this email via network stream you can also download the pcap file as well so this was a walkthrough about a phishing email that was uh, configured to steal information from the system that uh, it runs and this is also called a stealer uh, they also have a name thanks for watching i'll see you next time please subscribe